Book prediction news. Oh my god, is this Game of Thrones? Is it Nostradamus? Submitted by Suck That Motherfucker. What's that? Suck That Motherfucker. Suck That Motherfucker. Okay, suck on him. <laughs> suck on him. Conspiracy theories about the quote, rise and fall of Donald Trump have arisen from obscure books written in the 19th century. Oh, like foreshadowing? Did people predict that Donald's gonna be president? I like the name Donald because Donald Duck. <laughs> I think Melania should write a tell-all book exposing him. But she's so dumb. Is Melania dumb? I think she just got caught like plagiarizing Michelle Obama's speech. But what if she was forced to do that? She's like, I don't want to copy her speech. And then Donald's like, no, 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 honey, you just, you're too great. Just why is he, <laughs> why is he Eastern European? <laughs> He just came back from Russia. No, 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 just, just do it. Just, just came back from Russia. Do you I don't, I don't want, to, I don't, I, the people are gonna make fun of me. I, that's the point. Do you, you think want that, people to talk? That's you, a, that's I a think, I think they did that. She's like, I don't, don't make me do this. And he's like, no, come on, you gotta do it, honey, do it. She does not Fine. want this first lady role at all. Like, she's fucking. Do you think that they have some sort of contract or agreement that if she leaves him or gets fat and ugly, then he like, I don't know, kills her family or like takes all the money from her or something? I think she's the pretty first lady, so eh. <laughs> They're all grandma looking, except for Michelle. Michelle was yoked. <laughs> yeah, Michelle. dude, her arms were sick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's cool. Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying, just write a tell-all book. Millions of people will buy it. You can live off of that for a while. You know what's funny? Um, You know how like, weird ass like super right conspiracy theories they think uh, Michelle Obama is actually a man and Obama is like super gay stupid and, yeah because Michelle Obama's so like fit stupid. they can't believe that she's a woman stupid she's still feminine though just yeah. because their own she, wives are like fat and can't like see their feet but that's how fucking crazy people are like they make up some shit they're like know. yeah well, wait till you hear what they're making up now okay so there's this book by the author Ingersoll Lockwood, who, um... How do you spell that? Ingersoll? I-N-G-E-R-S-O-L-L. -L. Ingersoll. That's yeah. That's interesting. So Some people I really hate their kids. <laughs> I know a couple. No. <laughs> so Trouble Cliff? <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, he wrote this book back in 1893 called Baron Trump's Marvelous Underground Journey. Do you guys what? know who Baron Trump is? His son! Yeah, so oh, it's shit. Donald Trump's son. And this was written before he was even born? This was written in 1893. What? Whoa. But there's a small difference in the spelling of the name. So in the book, it's... Double R's. Single R's. Baron. The book is B-A-R-O-N, and Donald Trump's son is with double R's. I mean, is it because, like, you know, it's like the name John Smith or whatever? You know how it's super common? common? John Doe or, I don't know. I don't like, hear any barons. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. But, I mean, but names, I feel like they cycle in and out. Sometimes they're, like, like, in, no, not Ingrid's, but, you know, like, those old school names? And then they just kind of die off. Gertrude's? At, oh, my yeah, God, Gertrude's! No, Gertrude's, you know, yeah. but that was, like, a popular name. Or, like... How about like Steve Wynn? At least six billion of them. Because of this book, it's <laughs> proof that that the past predicted the future. Well, the other thing is too, this same author, he published his other book called 1900 or The Last President. So in these two books, there's a lot of similarities to the present time. So for example, in Baron Trump's Marvelous Underground Journey, there they're saying that this mystical guide or the the person that guides l this little kid through russia his name is don hmm. so that's like really similar right wow. to donald trump that is pretty crazy and donald loves russia and then maybe that's russia his thing. favorite book so uh, then um he read books? <laughs> so in this story they're talking about how this little boy and and his dog leave castle trump and on to a journey underground and then finally, when they meet Don, he's reminded of the Trump motto, which is, the pathway to glory is strewn with pitfalls and dangers. So the book mentions that there's a Fifth Avenue hotel that will be the first to feel the fury of the mob after this election by this president that's supposed to liberate the people from the bankers, which is an anti-establishment candidate, which Trump was here. Wow. Did the mob take over? 
Is it one of his hotels? Yeah, so Fifth Avenue is where Trump Tower is. Oh shit! Oh. So then that's why it's like there's so many similarities from those books to what's happening now. But Snopes ended up uh, debunking some of these things, but other who's things. Snopes. Yeah, who's Snopes? That, uh, Snopes? Oh, the Trump fact checker check, yeah. website. Oh, okay. Yeah. Why? Were they saying this book is not that Oh, Somebody made this shit up. No, they're saying that all these claims are mostly true, but it's just skewed. Like, all these people with these conspiracy theories, they kind of like conveniently, yeah, like conveniently doing. Kind of so. stretch the facts a little bit too much. They're yeah, like, there's exactly. a pigeon in his book, and there's a pigeon on Trump Tower. <laughs> <laughs> like it's like so. Yeah, like for example, a Baron Trump. That's not really his name. His name. Uh, so Baron means like a lord. Yeah. So they're calling him like Lord Trump. Oh, Lord the Trump. I always think Bondage. Baron as in like bear. Baron. Oh really? You can't like you're Baron. Like you can't oh, produce. Oh, uh, it's spelled differently. Yeah. Baron. I also thought Baron was like a royal. Is sick. Like Baron. Duke and Duchess. Yeah, it's like yeah. Duke. Love that shit. Duke. Baron. I want to know the difference is, Lord, Duke. And then like when you get knighted, you're a sir. Yeah, sir, sir Joseph Klingon. <laughs> yeah, another... sir Juan Quan. <laughs> oh, and then House of Bears. <gasps> <laughs> Protector Don, of the doggies. <laughs> oh, it's so cute, I like that. <laughs> yeah, and then Don, in the book, he's actually a Spaniard, so it's like Don... Don Don, Don, uh, Don uh, entire name is like a really long Don, ass Don name. Don Quixote. What would they say? What would their title be? Cause you know like, they got medieval times there too. Yeah, what's Lord? So like, I don't know, you know. Got medieval times where? Medici? In a Spain! Oh, I don't know about Spanish oh, yeah. shit. You speak a Spanish? But that's your Spanish? shit! I mean, fucking, I know more Aztec okay. shit than fucking Spanish shit. It is the responsibility <laughs> of Mexicans to know both <laughs> native history as well as Spanish history. It's yeah. your guys' shit. You need to learn about chiclets. Chiclets? <laughs> and you need to learn about trumpets. Don't blame it on the frijoles. Yeah. So on 4chan uh, and Reddit, they were talking about this entire conspiracy thing and something that What's pretty interesting was how on 4chan they wrote this. After Nikola Tesla's death, the FBI ordered alien property custodian to seize Tesla's belongings even though Tesla was an American citizen. The National Defense Research Committee called in an MIT professor to make sense of Tesla's notes in order to analyze if anything in them could be weaponized. That MIT professor was John Trump, which is Donald Trump's uncle. So they are saying in this uh, 4chan uh, thread that that uncle actually discovered Tesla's um, like time travel secrets, and then he actually created a time travel machine, and that Trump so then Trump going back in time and rewriting history, or supposedly that Trump went back in time and he, he saw a future where it was like completely destroyed, and he felt that in order to save the future, he had to become president and do all this stuff, and then this book is part of it somehow. Like they they. That's so cool. Like Trump is our Superman. Oh. Da, 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 da. Trump to the rescue! <laughs> I'm gonna save the world. Yeah, so that's what his 4chan thread is saying. That's awesome. Some yeah. people's minds are crazy because they're like mixing reality with fiction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then there it. was dinosaurs, and then these Ninja Turtles came out of nowhere. But is part of is part of saving history being really dumb? <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. You know what's crazy yeah. though? Like, people, they have such a wild imagination, but then there's a lot of variables in the world where like, there's a chance that that imagination can happen 300 years later. Yeah. That's like all the sci-fi movies where people kind of like, uh, what if there's this thing that you can just talk into and then you can see your friend and then Kind of like what Back to the Future did? Mm -hmm. Yeah, or like there's just, yeah, there's so many te technological things in the movies that came true Like 30 years later or whatever Still waiting for my hoverboard though That yeah. is something I need Here's a hoverboard This is just on wheels I like how like, actually uh, I like thinking about how like back then, back in like 1800s or whatever They're like, damn, it's good to live in modern times, I can't I, I don't know how they lived in the Stone Age when they didn't have paper. They used to etch that shit on rock. I know. And they thought they were the shit back then. And then now we're probably thinking that now. But then like fucking 600 years from now, we're, they're gonna be like, what the fuck? They typed on computers? <laughs> we just we think it. <laughs> yeah. That's stupid. We can communicate by brain to brain, man. It's also assuming the world's still gonna exist at that point. True. 
Hope you guys enjoyed that video. But if you didn't, guess what? You can directly contribute to the articles that we discussed. Just cruise on over to the description box below. Click on that link to submit your article. Also, for the next video, click right up here.